Hi everyone, uh, today me and Nijada Basov, uh, I will be streaming for you for the first time um, and it will be a fun match I hope against Mathieu Cornet from France. Um, I pretty much hope that it goes, it goes well for me, first match I'm white and let's start with uh, English opening. Try some interesting. Touch. And I will try to get face against the side. Like I just I never streamed before, so I guess this new experience will not be my last since uh, the tournament is long. And let's see why. Let's gain some space. 97 and then D5 square weakened a bit. Um, how do I take control of it? I do too. <coughs> In fact, I'm giving uh, C5. Have about the same time. I'm pawned down, in fact, but I have to get my knight to e5, so then I will have some conversation. Mm, if I manage also to put queen on c4, maybe, and knight to c6, then it will be perfect. <laughs> So he spent some time, it's good. It's good if he spent some time. And then I will try to attack his seven pawn. I'm a little bit up on time. Oh, by the way, knight b3, rook takes d8. I have intermediate check since I have then queen takes d8, rook queen e6 check. But he will probably take on d1. But he doesn't really want to give up d file. So he takes his time. And I try to win c6. Why not? And what's that? Take, 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 rook d5. I dislike it. I dislike the rook. Let's go d4. Rook f5, rook comes to c6. So you'll play rook d6, apparently. Uh, but I don't change my rooks. I'm rook seven, rook f four, take rook b four, take uh, rook takes b five. Lots of stuff changing. That's what I really want to avoid. Uh, 
So I want to mess up a bit here. Let's try something. Something. This is six. controls every square uh -huh, he wants to check I keep the roots so he, he got 10 seconds that's what I really like about the position and it's the only thing what I like actually So let's plug it. Not a nice game, but but what to do? That's chess. That's really tricky. Like not the best way of starting. Uh, but let's move on. It's matched, so let's be a little bit dirty. Uh, what do we do? Let's try C5. Okay, Rasalimo. Recently, I get lots of Rasalimo. Also in World Cup, uh, I played maybe one, about five games in Rasalimo, and and it's like getting bored. Let's try to get my knight to F5, which is. Um, you know, common idea, by the way, with playing this, I might be, uh, no, I don't want to play bishop g4. In fact, uh, bishop g4, he gets knight e4, and then he'll attack c5, and some knight f6 ideas will happen. I don't really <coughs> want to allow it. He still tries to do it, but uh, he doesn't. He doesn't do it, so should be six. I mean, his idea probably is to go queen two, bishop h6 stuff, but maybe I might be considering to go long side castle just to make it more fun. Uh, or h6, g5 ideas might be uh, happening. So my next move might be potentially h6. So I tried to get some play on the opposite front. So apparently b4, which is very typical uh, for Rosalimo. Shall we try h6, g5? Mm, from the other side, maybe let's play this. Before, I might be playing still c5, uh, c4, sorry. And try to get some, you know, open some files. OK, h6. I like this move. So I prepare uh, g5. Also, by the way, I force him to play rook. So d1 and b4 is like not really uh, opening up. So let's play this. <coughs> so well, maybe c3, d4 is what he shall do. But then I get good good square for my queen on d5 because c3 is taken by knight, uh, by, from knight, and knight c3 are not possible. And what about? This but then knight of six check is very annoying. But now let's let's try it. Knight of six, then I take bishop f6, e f6, e6, and then d3 will be uh, attacked. So gonna be some fun. Let's go for it. Let's enter this position. I just like e6. e6. Yeah, he played it. Yeah, he did. He did, it. He did something I really disliked, but it will be fine for me after, I guess, a6, b5, and I put my bishop on e5 and apparently uh, apparently I have normal position 
Again, I didn't see, I didn't realize that I'm still up on time. Uh, maybe e5 is a good move now for me. So rook d3, how do I do it against rook d3? Rook d3, and the thing is, like, I don't really want to give up g pawn. G5. Ah, g3. G3, I like g3 because uh, now he has no chance. So I play e5. So now he has no. That idea is, wait, uh, rook g3. So what about some pawn endings? Should be fine. It is, can I go forward? What about, uh, no, it's not possible. So I go here. Um, In gauge four, he could have played just uh, some. It's becoming again very tricky. So how do I trick him? Uh, so I should I should be risking. Ah, what about this? C ah, no. Yeah, it's got C five square. Yeah, it's good because I, I got rid of C6. Uh, I'm down in time. That's not good. Ah, uh, some dirt is just not nice play, but what to do? Sorry, sorry, Cornet. I really don't want to win on time. Just this is how. Okay, first game, maybe I wanted to win on time, but apparently I tried to play better chess now, but it didn't help me at the end. I mean, I ended up winning on time. So um, I guess he prepared some ideas with g6 for this match. It's already his second game. Um, I wasn't you know, seriously expecting him to play this stuff. Uh, let's go here. Try to get rid of dark squared bishops. He's not changing, but then uh, can we try to get, um, you know, center? Nice c6 is, I guess, what he's going to do because otherwise, yeah, that's what I guess. Because I don't really want to play d5. But here I go for d5 and e4. This is another story. I also get, uh huh, queen comes to h3, which I should be rather taken care of. Uh, what about some kind of endings since he has got. Strangely, okay, h4 I like. And the idea is like after queen h3, in fact, how do I get rid of queen? Um, okay, this is becoming a little bit strange. Here we go, queen, queen g5 and queen h3, I try to exchange the queens. Which I didn't initially want to, but apparently I need to. That's like two different... Okay, for me to exchange exchange these guys and kind of get nice knight versus bishop. Uh, I should be fine. Then I will try to uh, maneuver my knight. He finally got his bishop to h6. 
And I will put my knight on d3 and rook on d1. Ah, I'm not in time. Damn it. I'm not in time to do so. So I should go slowly yet again from the beginning. Knight c2, next is this. Uh, so I get my rook to b1, then rook f3 is never a problem because I go knight e1. So knight e1, I am maneuvering my knight to d3, then rook comes to e4. Uh, he starts to play like uh, on. Um, and I will try to transpose my king to e2 in order just to protect d3 over protect. And I'm pretty much stable now. And then I'll try to play b3, a3, b4, and c5. <coughs> and OK, b3 is what I do. Uh, also, a3 is fine. Yeah, I'm going step by step. step. Um, what about? Okay, he's playing too solid. How do I improve that? Okay, I will try to go here. I think it's a idea. It's a try. Uh, not quite sure if it's a good one. We can take here. Go back. And here. This time before, and his rook is already on uh, seven, which is bad for him, apparently. I tried so much for it. And again, he starts. Oh, am I might disconnect it. Damn. Why am I disconnected? I'm not. I didn't realize it. I was disconnected and he made a move. That's sad because I finally got a file. I thought like anyways, let's move on. Try to forget the previous match and Look forward. Okay, let's try something irregular. How do I play now? Um, if I go queen b6, does he play knight d5? Knight d because knight b5, bishop a6 is still possible, but knight, and what here? Well, he apparently can still sacrifice an exchange. He does not. 
Ah, there is an IC7 check in case of rook b8. That's annoying. That's annoying. And what do we do? If we oh my god, I wanted to play rook c8. Oh my god. Oh my god, rook c8. I want that's sad. Okay, let's try to keep in the game, keep alive. In fact, I don't know, knight a7, b5, it's just losing. It's just completely over. Uh, but sometimes, once you got like lots of winning options, it's becoming tougher to play. Mm. So many options. He has so many options. Can I try to get? Not sure what I need. Okay, I apparently need to take here. And try try to somehow surround his queen. Like queens. If I manage to play queen c4, then at least only square it would be. Queen h6, that's nice. Mm -hmm. He still got queen h6. Let's move some prophylactic move. Queen f4, I go. Okay, I never take it. Queen c4. Yeah, that's. Try all my chances to. Uh, I'm already only pawn down, and can I take it still? C3 now. Actually, I could have taken on C3 because I attacked the rook, and I will take it now. And now D4 is also hanging. I mean, D4 is in the air, B1 is hanging. If I manage to get it, to get the point now, it will be super comeback. Like, from the position I had, uh, it's like dream position now. Unfortunately, I have h7 pawn. Otherwise, it would be very much. Okay, can I include d4 and check d4, queen a6? All squares are apparently covered, but d4 is it's little bit of weakening. So I take it here first. I should be careful now. Very much careful. So crazy. I like it. Oh, well, there's a checkmate threatening. A6, I got. Please, with less time, it's easier for me to play. Because I got some time, all the time checks. Oh my god, so he gets revenge. He's mad on me. He gets revenge? Or... Yeah. yeah, yeah, I hear. Uh-huh, yeah. 
how do I turn it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I, okay. Is it because of it is lagging or what? Because I get just 24 lagging. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Okay. I did it. Here we go. Shall I start? C4. Again, I will be stick to my openings, and then this time I will try to get more center central squares with E4. I'm a little bit sad of my two last games, and basically all my games I played today. And but it's fun. It's fun. And that's what I am trying to look mainly for. So I will go knight g2, uh, uh, knight d2. He tries to get queen to f6. But a3 is my next move, and then I'll try to get a knight takes a3. I have bishop pair, which is quite an achievement already in the opening. And then knight d5 ideas might always come. Also, some plus on time is good to have. But he's not given up easily his bishop. He's not easily giving up his bishops, and then c4 is hanging. Uh, do I play knight e4? Is it legal? It is legal. Uh, it is possible to play, and uh, if everything, uh, if I don't blunder anything, the position is just nice. It should be to castle, and then b4, I will have like fine position. In fact, we should be to queen g6, castle, bishop e4 might be there. But uh, is it good for him to give up this bishop? Because uh, then lots of things happening. I bet he is not going to play queen g6. Is he? He thinks. He didn't. Uh, what do I do? By the way, knight b5 ideas are there. Um, but let's play knight c2 and then try this. But I have played b4 before. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with my position apparently here. Uh, castle f4 and knight, uh, knight d4 is what he's gonna do now, I guess. Since uh, it also over controls d5 square, I have like two. Uh, what? There is no knight d5. Take, 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 and then queen d8. Is it what he really wants to do? I don't think so, but. <sighs> but uh, apparently, I don't achieve anything there. So let's just. Mm. I wanted hardly, I mean, so badly to play knight d5. Okay, he's not doing it. Knight d4. I still think that he's going to play knight d4. Uh, can I go? Uh, where is good to put my bishop? Mm -hmm. Let's play this and then take. C takes d5, so c7 pawn is actually weak. Uh, that's what I aim for. Also, you know, after take the group c8, I might be playing bishop g4, which is very annoying. That, that was the main reason why I played knight d5. Apparently, he has to take because c7 is in the air. So, how he protects it? Because, okay, maybe knight d2, because queen is also tied to knight, and he cannot play intermediate rook if he, uh, because of. After rook c7, knight f5. I saw it, but I, I was, and that's very nice because now knight h6 or queen uh, g7, both are, it's double attack and it's, I guess, game over. Yeah. <coughs> so, my first smooth game, how actually Morris would call. Uh, and I'm happy for it. Like, once actually Morris told Carlson. You don't play smooth chess. Knight of six, I like it. I like it. Defense, because uh, in Sicilians, I would have some problems. So he plays exchange variation, and then uh, both moves on uh, move five were possible for me, but he takes d6 and c takes d6. C takes d6 recently becoming more popular. But this is kind of a classical approach where you have symmetrical setups. Uh, 
uh, I mean pawn structure. Here I I will probably give up my bishop f3. Uh, I go bishop h6 and bishop uh, h5 and bishop g6. Um, yeah, I will give up the bishop. I guess, but he's not really wanting to take. Uh, Knight e4 is what he is going to do probably next. I go d5, c5, I go knight c8, knight comes to e7, and then I will try to stabilize with uh, my pieces. That's uh, actually a nice move by him, knight g3, because uh, he takes control over h5, f5, both, uh, both squares for my bishop meant to be. Uh, how do I play? If I go knight 8 e7 h3 or f3 bishop g bishop e6 knight h5. Uh, let's try it because I don't have much option. And let him think because uh, I feel like it's better to play quicker in blitz games uh, rather than smart. Uh, sometimes, especially in today's match, we flagged each other already quite uh, some games. Uh, knight h4 is just knight jump. I don't really mean anything. Uh, probably, if he allows me, I would be happy to get control over f5 square. But I need to go bishop d7 now. So he badly wants to get rid of my bishop, which is actually strong. So. Uh, and after getting rid of it, uh, bishop g5s are in the air. How do I do then? h6. But what about g3 stuff? And if he does g3, he needs to play it straight away now. And he did it. Unfortunately, he did it. Uh, let's mess up a bit. But how? How do I mess up here? Uh, rook takes e3, queen takes e3. And. It's really not easy business now. How do I play? Um, how do I trick him? Okay, I see some tricks there. And the idea is like I'm attacking bishop, and he if he moves his bishop, then I take knight takes f5. So knight f6, I should play g takes f6, apparently. And on b6 and stuff, like knight takes f5. Uh, I didn't see anything else. Uh, than that, but uh, bishop h6 straight away. What about this, man? What's now? What about knight takes a five straight away? Uh, it's becoming super messy. And do I have survival chances? Looks so. Uh, take here, take there. Uh, looks apparently. Okay, because he has like take knight of six check is the problem, yeah? And then some kind of rook g5s might be like take, take, rook g5, I go king h8. I king h8 because if king h7, rook g7 check, if I take queen g5, queen g8, checkmate. But what about rook, uh, queen to f4? Queen to f4. Or is very annoying. Ah, oh, he entered this. That's surprising, like really surprising, because it was so much better. It was attacking side, and now ending up uh, getting some uh, end game, which is most likely just okay for me. If rook g5, king h7 is becoming very tricky. So because rook g2, rook h2, and rook a to g2 is a checkmate. And uh, so I got some chances. Let's give another check. Uh, try to. Well, draw is fine. This position. I'm happy. <coughs> I'm happy with the draw. Let's move on. Because I had just really worse position. E4 this time. Let's see what he prepared versus E4. C5, C3. I like this move for blitz games because, uh, you know, in classical games, it's often tough to get advantage with this. And, all right, 
can enter some critical lines. Uh, let's see what he has in his mind. All right, how do I play now? Let's go bishop e4. Yes, it should be main line. And this. Uh, I go bishop c2. There were some sort of strange games like this, and uh, first that comes to my mind was uh, John Scavane versus Anand. In, uh, but that's a bad move because g6 was supposed to be played because uh, it's not a bad move, but uh, I think there were just better moves for black. Now bishop d5 is what he has to do. And uh, then, then I should think now. Lots of moves are possible here. I go knight to a3, which is looking fine because knight b5, oh, by the way, c takes b3, I might be including <coughs> knight b5 intermediate move. Uh, which looks apparently nice. And if not, then I will take twice on c4 and bishop d3, getting rid of the bishops and e6 will be weak. I guess it should be fine for me. Uh, but instead of move 15, bishop f3, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not played g6. So queen c6, now he's attacking my g2 pawn, but can he really take it if I take like twice on c4 and then rook e6 are always possible. Let's, let's do this. Let's see if, okay, he took on uh, c4 apparently. Can I play d3, take, 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 and rook e6 looks only okay for me. The bishop d5, he'll be getting back, take, 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 uh, blah, 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 I should be working. d3, bishop d5, c4, bishop g2, rook e6, queen f3, bishop d1. Ah, no, then queen h3, sorry. Then I, I can at least give a perpetual by, uh, by, by playing rook e3, queen c6, rook e6, but then bishop d6 is coming. I don't like it. I don't like it, man, I don't like it. Take, take, how do I play? Because bishop d6 is his next move. I, What about queen e3 straight away? Or take, take. Queen e3, bishop h1 is the problem. I better take it here. Apparently, better take it here. Queen f3, I go rook e3. Ah, by the way, he can't play bishop d6 or stuff. Bishop d6, then. It's becoming tough for me. It's becoming tough for me. Yeah, I, again, a tough life. Should be six. And then next, why is he spending so much time? It's already like 40 seconds. Is he really spending time or is, am I disconnected or he is disconnected? No, I, I'm connected, I guess. Mm. Yeah, something is wrong. Surprisingly, I lost some time, but I made a move. That was strange. Yeah, I made a move, but uh, at the end I ran. But uh, then I was reconnected and I still made a move. I made rookie six, but uh, but something was wrong. 
That's your right. I mean, I played like one minute ago or so. All right, all right. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. And let's rematch. How do I rematch now? New game. How do I rematch? Yeah. Challenge, three minutes. Yeah. So. I challenged, by the way. Uh, I'm again white. Is it okay? Yeah. Hi, much, but apparently I have some issue with connection because I make sometimes moves and uh, apparently it ends up that I haven't done it. Um, so let's try. issues all the time it's sort of interesting setup but he made a nice move take and then he goes knight g4 but i'll play rook f3 and then try to save my pawn with knight f1 which looks very not beautiful but holding at least Maybe it would be better for him to start another move or the other move here. So how do I hold now? It is, uh, is it bishop c1? What I shall do? Why not then? Knight c3, e4, exchange dark squared bishops, pawn up. Fantastic. I like it. Knight c3, e4, take, take, take also. e3 is next, so I'm just cementing my center. Is it again connection issue, I afraid? So far, it doesn't seem so. Yeah, should be working. F5. Okay, he wants to control e4 square, which is understandable, so I don't have e4 ideas. Um, then knight d5. Okay, he wants to play it a little bit differently, but I can uh, I can play I can play um, for b4 idea. Let's go for b4 idea. And then b5. What about this one? Idea. b4, take, take, take. But then I give up a 5 square for him. I don't want. Let's put a5, a4. And now I have some ideas with this because my bishop is opening. I don't really treat him to play. I mean, I don't really want to take. And that is what he also understands. So back. Can I play e4? I 
shamrock. Queen d3 looks nice. And next is e4 finally, if not d5. Not d5, can I play a4, take, take, take. Lots of exchanges happening. Not really managing to calculate, but seems like should be fine. Like take, take, take twice. Looks fine. Looks fine. Okay. If he steps back, it's already a good sign. I take it, takes knight f5. Knight f5, he attacks d4. That's not that I want to hello him. Some active play. Let's play ourselves some active chess. Bishop g5, maybe I treat him to take on e7 and take on f5. Uh, e4 then. Let's take, take e4. Uh, yeah, it's, it's working. It's working. Because, yeah, this and e4. Because now if he takes, then rook f8 is at the end. Yeah, and rook f8 at the end, and if he moves back, and I go h3, and my knight is, oh, yet, yet again, yet again, rook f8, and then my, my knight comes to uh, d5. So he controls it. Now I treat and rook takes f6. He does not allow. And what about g5 ideas? I kind of trapped his knight, which is nice. Nice for me. <coughs> yeah, finally, some, you know, fine game, second fine game. And it's becoming tight, very tight. Let's go for interesting stuff, like Berlin. Very interesting. And try to transpose my knight to e6, which looks fine. It should be three. Let me think if I should take. He's not even playing it. So knight g3, I will probably go for g6. Okay, I put it here. F6. I go for long castle. I don't get trouble on the uh, on the opposite side. Maybe at knight f5, I just move my king to f7, and prepare some tricks with uh, queen a2, I wanted to say, but he wants to go for short castle, I guess. Let's exchange some pieces on d4, and try to claim that my pawn structure is actually more better now, because he's never getting some play, at least that's what I consider on the opposite side, uh, on the uh, on the queen side. Um, he prepares some maneuvers. Uh, king to king to e2, king to g2. Um, let's play this. And Okay, he forces me to play h6 that I really don't like. Uh, but okay, it's fine. And I will try to get my queen to uh, I either play c5 if he allows me. I mean, c5, if would be one, then I go c4 even. It's interesting try because I get only open file on the door. What's that? Oh my god. 
Oh my god. What's that? I wanted to play C5, of course. That's nice. That's very nice. Here we go, G3. I am playing against his fianchettos this time, but he still tries to do it. Whew. Try to calm down and, and play on. That's what I would try to do. Yeah, that's that was a sad mouse sleep. Life, it's life. It's a right time, match. It's like four and a half each. I was expecting actually such scenario. Mm -hmm. I don't like his e6, though. It's kind of uh, like. Uh, closing his bishop, and I will try to attack d6 badly. Uh, rook d1 is what I plan to do, and then how does he protect it? Bishop f8 is not something he really wants to do, also. Uh, bishop e5, f4 is coming, so, or bishop f5, I might, oh no, uh, I cannot play g4 because I thought bishop e5, g4, knight goes back, f4, I trapped the bishop, but bishop e5, g4, in fact, knight f4 is the move. So, he takes some time, he played knight to e5, which is nice move because we know that the best defense is attack, so he tries to attack uh, c4 pawn, and it's very correct way of playing. So knight 3 I protect c4, and just in case I protect d1, so after knight d6, I don't get this pin uh, problems. So knight 3 should be very solid, and if now bishop f8, then I will play some f my, I mean, possibly. He, he plays a6. Can I take now? I guess so. Bishop f8? No, no bishop f8. No bishop f8 for me. Uh, but let's attack f4. g4, e5. Or do I play e5? Uh, no, g4 is just blundering. So I should do something else. e5 looks very nice. Uh, okay, f6 was expensive. I mean, I was expecting this move. And how do I do now? Take? He takes with the knight, I guess. Oh, bishop. And bishop. Okay, knight g4. Uh, actually, he started to play fast, or I started to play slow, maybe. Uh, what about check and knight to f7? Looks nice. Looks nice, but risky business. It's risky business, but uh, who ain't risk? They say they don't drink champagne. Let's go for it. Uh, uh, f5, bishop h6. He probably take will take. No, he did not. But then I saw that I have intermediate check knight e8. Don't I? Yeah, I do. So I'm exchange up. That's nice. Can I take here? And go bishop d4. I'm also have on time already. I have also extra pawn. Good. Good. Let's move on. What shall I do against his e4? Let's try uh, e6, French, against French player. Uh, I did play French recently against Bacro in a classical game. Uh, so. And the winner of this match next plays against, uh, against Naga. So potentially another French player. So I should prepare a little bit better, maybe French. But yeah, 
I mean, knight d2, objectively, c5 is the best on move 3, but... So, mm, I mean, it's just uh, my division now is like a three five. It should be two. I, I got this uh, isolated pawn. Uh, uh -huh, he takes with the. Okay, I mean, he, his intention was to keep his knight on e2 so he gets knight. D4, apparently, uh, and it was a reasonable idea. Can I go back? If I move my knight, G6 square is weakening a lot, so I better keep it. I better keep it and. D, uh, okay, he tries to chase me. What about rook e7? Looks fine. Uh, looks fine. Looks fine. And d4, can I play d4 with the next move? Because if I can, then I get like this isolated pawn in, into a power because it's going to be passive as isolated pawn. Actually, he's inviting me to play d4. That's strange, to be honest. But why not? Take. Rook e4. Knight e5. Can I play d5? d5? Where he goes with the knight? I'm not sure. Not sure, not sure, my friend. Rookie one. Rookie one is what he does. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> That's becoming very interesting now. Okay, I can take, take, take. King of six. That would get d3, d2. Uh, yes. Bishop a4, then rook f4, I can take a, a pawn. So becoming super messy. So it looks okay right now. Okay. This bishop c2 next. And then I take and then go here and then check. All right. Fine. Okay, I need three more points. Let's go for this. Himself versus wrestling. <coughs> okay. I shall try this again against him myself. This. Mm. He enters sharp lines. Um, I don't want to play sharp though. Let's play solid. Let's play solid. Uh, yeah. And it's probably too solid by my side. <sighs> All right. Can I trade the bishops? It's also possible to take, by the way, on f4, but b2 will be hanging. So this is better try for me. To go for bishop g7, if knight e2, queen e2. And looks stable position. Queen d4, I will take and go for f4. Also reasonable. And if not queen d4, I still go f4, rook takes f4. Looks, looks only fine for me. Yeah, he played this, I was expecting. Uh, another expecting move. Expected move. 
All right, now he will try to play b5, a5, and try to get some play on the on the on the queen side. Well, he played f f5. That's surprising for me. Uh, can I go rook e1, f e1? Okay, so next is I take with the no. G3, I tried to stabilize. Oh, I, I blundered. I blundered just. I just realized I blundered. It's fine. Blunders are part of the game. And we shall not be upset. It's just a pawn. Knight d6, I will try to get e file. Or a5, I can try. By the way, knight d6, knight c4, knight e5 is nice maneuver. I just bought it just to have nice knight on the, on correct square. So he tries to keep position. Uh, oops, I now just realized that I win f5 pawn, and now I'm upper side because uh, my pawns are better than his. And kind of having some activity, although I'm down in time. Well, can I? How do I improve it? Not sure. Not sure how I improve it. Mm. G4. I wait. I finally move my king on. That was what I was waiting for, just to get forward with my queen, and then I enter some pawn end game. Now it looks nice for me. Take, take, or, or this. Okay, again, we are both down on time. I'll try to be quick. So now I'm moving on with my king. Uh, I don't really want to give up g5 pawn. I get my rook to be three and oops, that's surprising. That's kind of a gift. Mm. I, I get my rook here. Take. Go on. And I need one, one, one more win, one more win, and I'm good. Life is good. So I was happy with Berlin. He will go Italian. Yeah, of course, of course he will. Of course he will go Italian. That's kind of new modern wine. Let's do this. And ask him for taking decision. Knight g4, rook e2. I try to exchange bishops. I go back. Now I'm fine with my position. Let's attack. Yeah, it's kind of. I like, I like this kind of positions. I get my knight also to f4, but he plays apparently g3. So 
So IG5 is my next try. By the way, knight to g6 is also a legal move because g4 knight of course check. There is what uh, he wants to do here. Okay, he wants to trade off the pieces and claim that he has better structure. That's actually correct. But the position is very close. Should be not so much bad for me. I go b6. Take. I go king of seven, I guess. That's what I shall to do. Um, then I move my knight to c8, rook f7, and now knight comes to b6. So it's becoming tricky. Time is roughly equal, but it's very difficult to protect action a4 pawn because uh, knight b6, then only, I mean, rook cannot protect from the second rank and from the fourth rank. So is it better for me to keep the pawns? No, I go for d5. I go here. I see his intentions of playing knight d3 and knight f4 or knight c5. Ah. So I better take care of both somehow. I mean, g5 would be one option, but the problem is then I'm not in time to protect the other square. I would play king to e7 also somehow, but also not helping me to cover all squares that he intends to attack. How do I do? OK, I should play this. Around my b6 and knight f4, I go rook, f, uh, rook e7. I don't see any other option. Uh -huh. he, he actually didn't really want to. So then I'll get my king to d7 and try to hold position with the, the rook only on the opposite side. That's very tough business though. Now I don't have, I have only basically one weakness on e6. Can I play c6 at some point? Not now, of course. And not now. I'll play f5, then I get back with my rook. So I'll try to check. Actually, I resign. Good game. Good game, apparently, for him. And I felt to get my match point from the first try, but yet I have two more tries. E4, E6. Let's go exchange variations in French. OK. Mm. I got this. Knight c6 is the most probably dynamic way of playing. Rook e1 is. Everything lo looks so far okay for both sides. Let's focus a bit on the game and talk less or talk more. Which is better for keeping concentration on? I think it's not easy to talk and play. It's not easy. 
what it's fun. If you play something, then I go d4. If you play d4, I go knight d4. Uh, I go d4. C5, no, c6. I like my position after this. Hmm. What about f4? Bv6, bishop b3. Very nice position. He gets control over some squares, but watch out for g4, my friend. g4, f5. Is it possible? Let's do it. I don't know if it's possible, but let's do it. I like it. I like it very much. Because if g6, then f6, and queen comes to h6, if f6 himself. I don't see checkmate so far. Let's play no. this and he plans to play g5 by the way. Uh, does he? I got some. He plans to play g5. Can I play? e6 looks very tempting, but what I dislike about this move is the fact that uh, d6 square is uh, weakening. I can go e6 now. I, I can wait. I let his knight come out, but I certainly get lots of lots of nice squares and queen f4 mm, rook to e7 looks very dangerous for him very dangerous g5 knight f5 so far i cannot go for straight forward attack but i can slowly improve i'm down on time he played himself g5. Wasn't expected it, but expected it. Uh, f7. Rook e8 is a threat. Our bishop, bishop g3 is possible. Is it? Bishop g3, bishop d4. Rook f6 is his next move. Uh, arc. I'm down on time, seriously down. And I dislike that I gave up so much. How do I win it now? I don't win it now. I don't win it now. Arc. Turn it. So let's keep tension on bishop g3, bishop b5. That's my last chance to get the things trickier. Still, he's, on, on. he's having more time. He's having extra point. I cannot take anymore. I take here. Maybe I force him to get the time travel. What about this? Check. Oh, what did I just do? I did just super blunder. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, that's insane. That's the nicest victory 
in the last match, I guess it should be the best game of tournament. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yes, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just want to thank everyone who watched and, and I'm looking forward for the next match. It was very fun. It was my first stream and I guess it could be better, but uh, don't judge hard. Yeah. All right. See you. See you.